Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was also a powerful biotic, nearly unstoppable when she charged into a fight. While I didn't always agree with her decisions, I still respected them. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. We all do stupid things as kids. There's no denying that, but in a way, I was lucky. My mother scolded me, but she also bought me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Friends doesn't cut it for me anymore, Liara. Well, that sounds serious. I am serious. Whatever happens, I'd like to spend my life with you. Then you're extremely lucky that I feel that way, too. I know. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Don't think about it, Doc. You just have to block out the dead. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place. 
some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I read about your mission on Novaria. Wasn't she indoctrinated? Yes. We had to kill her. And it didn't stop you in your tracks, did it? Like I said, you blocked that shit out. I know it's difficult, Liara, but he's right. You could spend all day counting casualties. I prefer to spend my days killing the ones responsible. I'm sorry. I can't be that callous. My experience is war won't give you much of a choice. That can't be true! You saw it with your own eyes. The prophets of your religion were Prothean. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No, you're not worth it. There's been enough death today. Don't think for a second that Liara couldn't have finished that. As could I. She just lost her home. I'd appreciate you not making it worse, Javik. As you wish, Commander. But this is no time to worry about hurt feelings. We recover from this defeat, or we die. How did this happen, Shepard? Did I just assume the Asari would be ready? That the Council would protect them? Or was I so busy with the Catalyst that I ignored my own people? You'd never do that. They're dying by the millions! I told those people on Thessia we'd save them! How many Asari died because I demanded their help? You couldn't have saved them, Liara, even if we got there before Cerberus. Blaming yourself won't help anyone, especially you. You're right. I know. I just wish there were something I could do to help right now. I know. I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. What are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. Well, it must have disgraced me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? You first. Huh. Very fair. What I want most is for this war to end, while there's still a galaxy left to save. And everyone's counting on you to do that for us. It must be overwhelming. I've been ready since I saw the Reapers land on Earth. I can't pretend to be surprised. We have one chance, just one. I'm not losing that. You won't. At any rate, let's not dwell on that tonight. <sighs> it would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. To find some place very far away, where you could spend the rest of your life in peace. And happiness. Hmm. Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. I love you, Shepard. I love you too, Liara. Show me.
You can't sleep? We're almost there. Already? I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. We'll win. That's a promise. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw what was left of you. I thought you knew. Are you all right? No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took them a little longer to slap me back into fighting shape. I'm still me. And this, it doesn't change anything. I knew it was really you the first time I touched you again. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He was an excellent judge of character. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You did what was necessary, and now you'll take him down. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwaz and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He populated the Normandy with friendly faces, so you never saw Cerberus for what it was. How's that door coming, Edie? How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. We'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchanged them sometimes, with good friends, or their bondmates. It can also be a way to say farewell. Show me. Close your eyes.
Now, let's do what needs to be done. <laughs> 